All right, do a quick video here on how to tie a grog loop on your adjustable anchor webbing. So you need access to both ends here. And we're gonna start on one end. I recommend at least two and a half meters for your sling material. That's how long this sling is. And you're gonna to wanna to start six, at least six slots from the end. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And at this slot, we're gonna insert this end. Pull it through and then form the sling in your hand to make sure there's no twists. So like that, no twists now. And now on this strand that we just passed through, we're gonna count six. So you can do more than six, but six is the absolute minimum. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna pass the other end through there. So each strand has gone through each other now once. And then I'm gonna pull here and cinch those back together. And now we're gonna take each strand and weave it back onto itself. So this strand here is this one here. So we're gonna weave it five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then I like to scrunch it up and then pull it back out. And then we'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Pull and straighten there. And there we have it. You can see there with the two and a half meter sling ends up being about you know, 80 centimeters, roughly, and you barely have enough. So with a longer sling, you'll obviously have more room beyond the last tuck going around. And then you can use this in a basketed configuration or sliding X. It's very, very strong. Um, yeah, that's how you do a grog loop with the adjustables. Let me know if you have any questions.